Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Dr. Downey, and today we are going to talk about Trembolone. More specifically, we're going to talk about Trembolone and its side effects. So I'm going to break this into separate parts because I have a feeling this is going to be quite long. And in the first part, we are going to be talking about Trembolone and Prolactin. So it's quite commonly thought that Trembolone increases Prolactin levels, and this is why a lot of individuals when using Trembolone will take a drug that lowers prolactin levels such as cabergoline or Pramy. However, I'm going to refute this and say that Trembolone lowers prolactin levels. If we look at Trembolone, we see that Trembolone itself is stimulatory of progestin receptors. All steroids or anabolic steroids have this ability, most notably DECA stimulates it at about one-fifth of the ability of progesterone itself. So these progestin receptors are stimulated by progesterone and Trembolone stimulates it to the same extent. So why would this be important? Well, stimulation of progestin receptors increases dopamine levels. And this increase in dopamine levels inhibits the release of prolactin. Drugs such as cabergoline and Pramiprexol work by agonizing the dopamine receptor to reduce prolactin. But with the fact that Trembolone is already quite a potent progestin receptor agonist, there would be no need of adding cabergoline or Pramiprexol. Furthermore, I'll speak about Trembolone and thyroid health in a second part, but essentially Trembolone decreases the amount of TRH, which is th thyrotropin-releasing hormone. Thyrotropin-releasing hormone increases prolactin levels, and through the reduction in TRH, there is a further reduction in prolactin. So we already have the increase in dopamine and the decrease in TRH, which results in a decrease in prolactin. Furthermore, a lot of individuals will complain and say that, that Trembolone increases prolactin levels and this results in gynecomastia. My issue with this is that prolactin itself is not a hormone that is well documented to cause gynecomastia. In fact, I haven't managed to find too many studies on this, but if you have found some, please let me know. But prolactin is more important in the secretion of breast milk and expression of milk. So why do individuals get breast tissue enlargement when using Trembolone? Well, this would be due to the fact that progesterone itself causes gynecomastia. Either estrogen or pr progesterone can stimulate the growth of breast tissue. And the fact that Trembolone works similarly to progesterone by activating the progesterone receptors, we can expect individuals to get gynecomastia. Furthermore, when looking at anecdotal cases from individuals on bodybuilding forums, when you look at serum prolactin levels in individuals using Trembolone cycles, it is never raised and is usually within the range or lower range of normal. So whilst this isn't the strongest form of evidence, it further supports the fact that Trembolone doesn't increase prolactin. Most of the issues come from progesterone. Whilst it doesn't increase progesterone, it itself is a progestin receptor and can have many of the side effects that progesterone has at high levels. So when individuals say Trembolone increases progesterone, that's not necessarily the case, it just acts similarly. And it is in fact one of the major metabolites, I think it is 17-beta-TBOH, that acts similarly to progesterone. So how would we combat the Trembolone side effects though? A lot of people say that cabergoline works quite well for them. That I cannot explain because it doesn't make sense in terms of the pathophysiology and most of the people I know that use Trembolone and most of my clients don't ever use cabergoline and seem to report side effects on breast tissue growth as commonly as those who use cabergoline. So how do we combat the fact that Trembolone stimulates the progestin receptor? Now this is a topic that is open for discussion as we have many drugs that work as antagonists to the progestin receptor the main one being mifeprestone, or just prostaglandins in general antagonize the progestin receptor. But the issue with mifeprestone is there aren't too many studies in males, and it also decreases prolactin levels, which could lead to a further lowering, lowering of prolactin and 
possibly more side effects. Mifeprestone has been shown to possibly downregulate androgen receptors, although this was only shown in an in vitro study. And in a lot of studies, methoprestone has been shown to cause weight reduction, especially when dealing with the side effects from antipsychotic medication. Furthermore, methoprestone is an anti-glucocorticoid, meaning that it blocks the effect of cortisol, and this could further enhance the ability of trembolone to cause body recomposition. However, I'm not suggesting mifeprestone at this point because the studies are limited, especially the studies with trembolone use. But as you'll find, there aren't many human trials, if any, on trembolone and humans. So what do you do for the progesterone effects? Well, progesterone in the presence of estrogen does seem to be more stimulatory on breast tissue, if that is your concern and that would mean controlling your estrogen levels is so far the only recommended way of treating this side effect. So this is the first part of Trembolone side effects, and that's on prolactin. So for the next part, we're going to be discussing Trembolone and its effect on the thyroid. So thank you for watching this part of the video. Stay tuned for the second part if you're interested, and I'll catch you in the next video.